If you are currently a buyer's agent or maybe you're a brand new agent and have gotten quite a few buyer leads and are about to start taking them out to show homes, then you definitely have to watch this video. What's going on? I'm Lloyd Ed with Team BC at EXP Realty. And the reason that I'm doing this video is because recently I've been dealing with so many buyer's agents that have no clue as to what they're doing that I needed to make this YouTube video for all of you that are probably lost and confused or just wanna get a little bit more guidance as to what it is that you're supposed to be doing. So first of all, if you are working with buyers, make sure that they are actually approved before you go and show them property. The reason is that you don't wanna be going out and showing them homes when they can't even afford the places. Second thing, if you are showing homes to buyers that are either condos or townhomes, please take a look at the HOA to see if they will even qualify to be able to purchase that type of property. Just because someone is approved for 500,000 for a single family home does not mean that they are going to be approved for 500,000 for a condo or a townhouse. So please double check with your lender to make sure that you know the exact figures as to what your buyer can actually get approved for and qualify for when they are looking for these type of properties. Here's a quick story for you. So a while back, I had a condo for sale. I got multiple offers and I got an offer that was significantly above asking price, about 25,000 over the asking. The agent kept blowing me up saying, you know what, my buyers have been looking for a place. This is perfect, they'll do whatever it takes. Like you tell me, send me a counter, like we'll get it done. So after taking a look at their approval, their proof of funds, the offer, everything did check out. Now my seller at that point wanted to send out a counter to that specific offer before we accepted. So I ended up sending out that counter and guess what? Crickets. I did not hear from that agent the entire day. And when I finally heard back from that agent, I'm gonna put a screenshot here so you can see what she said. She said, I'm sorry they will not be accepting. I'm sorry there is a language barrier. They weren't aware of the monthly payment with the HOA. And that's where I'm gonna just leave it at. First of all, I don't even understand how this could happen, but if you're a buyer's agent, if you're showing a condo or townhouse, please make sure that you let your clients know how much the association fees are because if the fees are too high and it's a deal breaker for them, you obviously do not want to be submitting an offer. What ended up happening in this case is that my seller got excited because we got this very good offer and it turns out that the buyer's agent didn't even do their job as to taking a look at all of the figures, the association, and all of the, the things that a buyer's agent should do prior to having their buyer write up an offer. Now, if you can tell, I got a little bit fired up there because it was a waste of my time as well. And at the same time, I'm thinking like, how can you not tell your buyers what the HOA amount is? It just blows my mind. That's why I needed to make this video so that you know to check for those numbers, those association fees, and let your buyer know. Talking about association fees, if you are going to be showing property like this, find out exactly what the HOA covers. Does it cover any utilities? Is there a gym? Is there a pool? Whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you get all of that information so that your buyer knows exactly where their money is going to. Now the reason that an association fee might be a big deal for some buyers, it's because that fee is on top of whatever their mortgage is. So if it's really high, let's say their mortgage is gonna be 2100 and an HOA is $400, now we're looking at 2500 for their entire monthly payment of whatever it is that they have to spend. And that is not including their expenses for like food and groceries and utilities and things like that. So that's why, if buyers are not aware of the association fees, it might throw things off a lot. And on top of that, if you are working with a buyer that you see that they were initially interested in getting a single family home, but clearly there aren't any single family homes available and you have to resort to go and find a condo or a town home, make sure that you let the lender know that because again, they have to rework all of these figures and they now have to take into account this homeowners association to see exactly what their new approval might be. Now, as you're working with buyers, what might end up happening is that they absolutely love a, a home that they see, but they're hesitant about pulling the trigger. Maybe it's the first home that they're taking a look at and they're thinking that, you know, because it's the first one, I should take a look at other homes and what if I'm missing out on some better ones? This is what I tell all my buyers. I tell them, look, if we see a home that it checks out 
all of the boxes of what you're looking for. It's in your price range. It's in your budget. It's in your best interest to make sure that we submit a strong offer from the start. And the reason that you want to submit a strong offer from the start is because chances are that you may or may not receive a counter. So you want to put your best foot forward from the beginning, just in case the listing agent is only taking a look at the best offers from the beginning. At the time of this recording, we are still in a seller's market, which means that there are not a lot of homes available and there are more buyers than there are properties for sale. So if you are out there shopping with your buyers, make sure that you are staying within a price range that if they need to come in a little bit more than the asking price, they do have that wiggle room. So typically I like to tell my clients, for example, if you are approved for 500,000, let's take a look at homes for up to perhaps 440. That way, if you have to come up higher, you can cover that difference. Again, every single buyer is different. There are FHA buyers, there are conventional buyers, there are cash buyers, there are buyers that have hard money loans. So whatever it is that your buyer situation is in, make sure that you set up those expectations from the start so that they know that it might take some time to get their offer accepted or because they are purchasing cash and are willing to pay a lot above asking price, they might have a better chance versus someone that isn't able to do that. However, I will tell you this, as a listing agent, having listed so many properties in the past and helping my clients, at the end of the day, what we are looking for are clean offers. Offers from buyers that are not going to be requesting a laundry list of repairs, buyers that are willing to remove their contingencies within a much shorter period of time in comparison to what the standard is. If you are going to bring that down, please make sure that you talk to your lender. That way you guys know to perform on time. Because if you can't perform within the time frame that you have put on the contract, that means that you will now have to ask for an extension. And if you do not perform, you will receive a notice to perform. And if you do not perform right then, at that point, the seller does have the right to cancel if they decide to do so. And yeah, that's it for this video. I wanted to just go ahead and kind of tell you what has been on my mind recently because I'm seeing this happen too often. And I thought it was common sense, but at the end of the day, you know, maybe you're new, maybe no one ever taught you before. So I'm glad that you're watching this video so that now you're more aware and come across more as a professional and as an agent that knows what they're doing once you're out there showing homes to your buyers and submitting offers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with someone else, and I will see you on the next one.